Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, I thought the normal regulation is 40, 60, right? Yeah, yeah. some are 80, okay. 20. But 75, 25, Actually, um, you don't need to go anywhere after dinner. You can actually uh, stroll around your uh, estate after dinner with your kids and your family. And if you look at the tenure, the lease, uh, the land lease starts from 11 May 2023 this year. Okay. Wow. And we only have one plus study all the way to five bedroom. Okay. Please take note, two bedroom units, we only have two bed, two path. And we only have two bedroom plus study with two bath. We do not have two bed, one bath. I think uh, in future, like selling or rental, you actually demand a higher renter. And three bedroom, we have three kinds. We have uh, three compact, three premium, and three premium plus study. Okay? Okay. Large unit, four bedroom. If you look at the square feet, it's 1,005 minimum. And then we only have 49 units. Okay, upper, upper, upper Bukit Diman people, I think they like big units, right? Yes. And then normally our mass market, our four bedroom is only what? 1,002 plus square feet. Yes, and then they, they actually give a super small room for the fourth bedroom. <laughs> okay, so five bedroom, we only have one set, 23 units. 1,690 square feet. Yes. And, and do come and see the show flat if you have the chance because the four bedroom is one of the show flat units. So you can really experience the space inside there. So this is actually the unit uh, distribution and layout chart. If you look at the number of stacks, uh, one bed, one plus study, we only have two stacks. Two bedroom, we only have four stacks. And uh, two plus study, two stacks as well. Three bedroom total, four stacks. Three bedroom premium plus study, two stacks. So it's very easy to remember for this uh, because as a CDL is a very, very well-known developer and we are very confident of their finishing and layout. Okay, now, actual site. We are actually along um, Upper Bukit Timah Road and using the Upper Bukit Timah Road address. We are wow. 800 and 802. I think the block number also very nice. And we are only within five minutes walk from Peshaw MRT station. So, uh, sales gallery is on offsite. It's actually along uh, Elizabeth Drive. Uh, five minutes walk from Hillview MRT station. Okay, now uh, we share this. Uh, this is from street map okay this is uh we want to share this because uh, if you look at the missed location um we are only 386 meters to casual mrt station and we are only 526 meter to bukit panjang integrated transport hub which is also bukit panjang mrt station so we are actually in between uh, two very good mrt stations it depends on uh, where you want to go. Okay, uh, prestigious developer, CDL, no need to say. They have uh, done many, many high-end projects. Latest launch in District 15, which is uh, Tempestry Grand. The sales is also very, very good. And also they do very high-end uh, development like uh, Bulava 88, mm. Owell Hill, which is uh, their sales is also very, very fantastic. Okay. So as uh, Upper Bukit Dima Road, they actually have uh, a lot of a lot of park and uh, parks and nature reserves. Okay, so amenities wise, school wise, uh, MRT line, everything have. Later we'll share with you one by one. Okay, a lot of people haven't been to that. Yeah. When you really right? Yes, of course. It's very very quiet, right? It is a hidden garden, literally hidden, hidden garden. garden. Okay, let let me show you some of the view. Okay, this is uh with the, the the land is already uh hog up and then uh doing the uh, tearing down of uh one level industrial. So this is actually the main entrance of uh the mist. So if you look at the two sides, there's actually walkway that can bring you out to the main road, upper Bukit Ma Road. Okay, behind us will actually be the tall building of uh Hazel Park Condo, but uh, we are not facing any of them. No units are facing this tall building of Hazel Park Condo. Next, um, along the uh, drain, what is drain? Canal. Canal. Okay, there's actually a walkway for you to walk to uh, Bukit Panjang site or the uh, Cashew MRT site. 
okay but not to worry if you look at the first feature there is a lot of uh trees and things like that okay once the development is done i'm sure that um it will be beautified lah. okay because along along upper bukit Timas, there's really really a lot of uh big trees and things like that okay location map if you look at a map um the two towers are north south orientation so no units are actually facing the uh Mm, high rise condo or the road upper Bukit Timah road. Okay, uh, take note of the main def area, which is already highlighted here. Okay, later I explain to you why we have a special feature for the Miss building. Misty. Misty. Okay, the site. Uh, as I said, Hazel Park condo on the right, 19 story high. No unit is facing there. So below we have Hazel Park condominium, which is a uh, five story high only. Okay, on top of it, um, we have Faja Secondary School, which is also what Green Green Ridge Secondary School, right? Yes. Mm. So we also have the uh, front side, the main entrance side, is actually the low rise uh, shop houses that is along Upper Bukit Timah Road. They only two and a half story, four story, six story. So uh, as the piece of land is elevated, the lower floor unit will actually um have facilities, greenery, pool view. Where the higher floor units will actually have the uh, unblock Killian Mall view. You see? Unblock view. And your unit will actually be very, very bright, uh, I believe, if you buy anything above uh, 10 floor. Yes. This is uh, a totally unobstructed view towards the low rise of the real corridor and uh, greenery. They say uh, green, very good for the eye. Yeah. Uh, good, good for health also. Good for In health. the morning, a lot of uh, positive ions. Air. <laughs> okay, this is also taken from the 16 story uh, that the architect actually given us. 49 meters high, about 60 story of the mist. This is towards the Poké Pato side. Yeah, so this is actually the low rise condo of uh, Hazel Park. Mm. So also got trees and we also can see the hill. And the clouds. Uh, Singapore, no mountain. <laughs> Okay, so we have this uh, very nice uh, panoramic view in the show flat as well. So uh, you can see the hole from Chachukang all the way to the real mall, which uh, I think is very useful lah, because we have like Bukit Panjang Primary School, we have Upper Salita Reservoir view, or oh, we also have Dairy Farm, Bukit Dima Nature Reserve, the real mall, no, which are a lot of uh, amenities, yes. And North South Corridor. Not to forget, part of our master plan. Yes. Okay, for shopping mall wise, not to worry. We are very near to Bukit Panjang. We have Hill Mall. We have uh, Bukit Panjang Plaza. We also have uh, Hill V2, which the MRT station can actually take you to Hill View. Like. Real Mall. Mm, Real Mall. And we also short drive to the upcoming commercial district in uh, Jurong. The oh, second that one, CBD. That one very, very... Uh, very, very uh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Every place like east, la, north, la, west, la, south, la, all have their uh, district. Right. The, the, the major district coming up. Yep. Yeah. So we also have wide choices of school selection from primary school to secondary school to very, very atas famous school along Okitima. <laughs> yeah. I think there is, if I remember correctly, that's Zhen Hua. Zhen Hua. Zhen Hua, Queen of Peace. Eh? Uh, Lady of a Queen of PCHIJ. Yes, CSIJ. Yeah, and one more Bukit Panjang Primary School. Mm. Uh, these are all within one kilometer. Yep. So good school. Yeah, so these are the malls. The malls. We also what? Junction 10. Oh, yes. Junction 10. <laughs> junction 10. Yeah, we have Junction 8, we have Junction 10. Okay, now this is the full MRT map that you can see if you find it on the internet. Lah, huh? Okay, so if you look at um, the MIS, we are here, uh, Casual MRT. And then, one stop to Bukit Panjang, which is the transport hub, right? Exciting one, come down. We have Beauty World. Yes, Beauty World Transformation. Okay, that one really need a very new shopping mall. That's why a uh, reserve is actually born. Okay, the reserve residences. So you will actually have a new shopping mall um, nearer to you for the upper Bukit Dima people. And why I want to show you the whole MRT line. Okay, if you look at downtown line, it's actually 
a very powerful MRG line. Downtown line actually meets a lot of interchange. First, circle line. We can bring you to Botanic, Marymount, Bishan, Column V. Okay, next you have your Thomson East Coast line. You can go East Coast Park, you know, if you stay in the in the in the upper Bukit Timah. Yes, in, in sometimes when you drive, I think taking a public control or MRT is actually faster. Yes, you need a five parking. All right. And then next they bring you to the North Sound line, yeah. which is the red line. North Sound line. Okay? And then oh. if you want to go Serangoon, it bring you to the North East line. line. Yes. And then if you want to go Kambangan, East Bale, West line. It'll bring you to the East West line. So this is really a very, very powerful MRT line. Okay? And then the next one, which is our upcoming, which is a lot of people talking about um what? Cross Island Line. Cross, cross Island two, Line. Cross Island Line. Yes. Cross Island Line. Okay, the phase one are uh, already more or less completed. Already. Yes, correct. So the K Harbour Park, which is about how many stops? Three? Hey, no, no, sorry. One, two, three, four, four, four stops, stops, sorry. Yes. Three stops from Cashew. La. Yes. So it actually bring you to uh, Turf City, Amokyo. So either you can go the red line or you can go the cross island line. So, so, so convenient. Mm. Yeah. So I think this MRT line is super powerful. Just like the Thomson Eco line. Yes. Yes. So uh, Singapore actually don't shortchange us. La. But we don't wish that our MRT line become like Japan. <laughs> huh? When you go Tokyo, you cannot find. <laughs> huh? well, our, our network is quite comprehensive. La. Yes. All right. So, okay, for the school wise, as a. Uh, sorry, yeah. For the school wise, uh, as you see, I've highlighted those that is in yellow. They are all within one kilometer from the Miss, which is Senhua Primary School, Bukit Panjang Primary School. Yes, I'm right. Yes. So, actually, they say Bukit Panjang Primary School is very good. Eh? Yeah, one of the top. I, I'm not, I'm away from the primary school registration already, but I heard. Yes. A lot of my relatives say Bukit Panjang is one of the good schools. Yeah. Mm. So uh MOE say uh, MOE every say. school in Singapore is a good school. Yes. Yes. Okay. So uh of course uh, we also have uh uh like like parents that actually they are actually uh uh study in a famous school in Bukit Tima, correct? SCGS la ACS yes, la. la. Okay, that one don't need ballot, so you don't need to stay along Bukit Tima. You can actually stay anywhere in Singapore because you will sure get into the school. Yeah. By the way, ACS is also coming to the west side already. Yep. So uh, along that, you can actually hit uh, Stephen area, which uh, all the all the schools are there. Yeah. And then uh, Newton, where the ACS is now at the moment. Tangaki, which is at the Raffles Girls School, Nanyang Girls High wow. School, Hua Chong Institution. I think at the look of this, you are just spoiled for choice. La. I mean, yeah, the, the location... Issue. The accessibility to all these schools is just spot for choice. La. Don't want to go up mm. or want to go down. Huh? <laughs> that day I got one joke back. Okay, I don't stay in the West. So I asked them, <laughs> <laughs> after casual is what MRD station? Uh, then everybody laugh at me. Eh? <laughs> because I don't know. No, say after Bukit Panjang. After Bukit Panjang. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, Bukit Panjang is what MRD station? Because they haven't built. <laughs> haven't built yet. The Singapore haven't planned yet. So maybe go to us. <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay lah, because I'm not a West person, but um sometimes I also come to Bukit Tima, Upper Bukit Tima, because I got a lot of friends that stay in uh, uh Bukit Panjang, mm. Chukang. Yeah, correct. So quite nice sometimes. Uh, because I I feel that uh the West side HDB they are all very built wide apart, one, eh? Yes. Not like Singkang, Pongo, or all squeezed together. Yeah. So I think they have a lot of space here. It's, here, it's old city planning versus new city planning. Right. I think they have a lot of land that uh government Not will actually yeah. yes, bring out for our next or future generation. Yes. Mm. Okay. So uh okay, NS <laughs> So they actually come out with a national service NS hub. So it, it's going to complete by this year, they say. Right. Huh? And and like like the home team uh center like Safra. This NS hub will also be catering to uh, the national service people and their related families, la, you know, extended families. So it's as good as it's a public uh, amenities as well. Mm. So they actually, what, a food court, 
childcare centre. Outdoor. Yeah, I think football field, badminton court, all this not enough. Like, Singapore. Yeah. Every I time want to go badminton court. Uh, they are always badminton. building. They are always building. Yes. Yeah. So this actually, uh, we follow the government. Transformation. Right. There must be transformation, then there will be appreciation in your uh, properties. properties. Well, this one wow. transforming life. <laughs> this is like, okay, Jurong Lake District and Jurong Innovation District is just like Hong Kong. Or it's just like, uh, where else? We have digital it, district. Yeah, I mean, simply put, it's, it's coined as the second CBD, right? So the government has huge ambition about this area. Uh, and then all the way where they shift the whole greater southern waterfront, uh, Pasipanjang port to Tuas port. I think that speaks a lot about the, the plans and the transformation that we are going to have for this area. So in close relationship to the mist or surrounding development, it will always be a exit plan in the future. Lah. Yeah, which means that if you if 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 you are very talented, you don't need to go to Changi Business Park to work. <laughs> you don't need to go to Tampanese to work. Yes. You don't need to go to Pongo to work. You just need to work in Jurong, Jurong. Innovation <laughs> District. Okay? I mean, I used to sell J Gateway lah. Huh. One day sell up. Wow. Yeah, because Basic. of the Genting Hotel. Oh Monday. yes, the the bluff. <laughs> uh, then finally, this Jurong Lake District, uh, finally they finalized and it's really, really coming out. So uh, this year, if you look at all the launches, it's a journey to the West. Right. Mm, that's why everybody, there's a lot of money. I, I, yeah, I West. call it, I call it the West Side Story. Because mm. today alone, you also read that uh, the BTO for Tengah, is uh about six thousand six thousand of them uh, i think uh if i read correctly it was 70 percent of the total allocation about 20 or thirty thousand uh units are going to be up in tengah estate so people who are you know following the government will always know that when the government want to develop a certain estate from a young to a mature estate they will always start off by putting a lot of bto there so same goes for Pongo, same goes for yes. Tapayo when it started. Yeah, they're building actually more and more homes for our next generation, yes. I can say. So this, these are all telltale signs to ask you to buy or invest at which development. Uh, so just take note. Lah. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, the, the homes are also uh, surrounded by parks and nature. Lah. So this one, we have been uh, um, very blessed that uh, everywhere in Singapore, there is actually greenery. Correct. Yes, so like uh, park connector, we can cycle, we can run, because everybody uh, since COVID. Uh, All cooped up at yeah, home. Yeah, they are very And then their health. Yes, yeah. so everybody actually uh, went for more medical checkup. Right. More regular checkup. Even myself, I also. <laughs> la, uh, Correct. So we have the Jurong Lake Garden. So you know that last time it actually used to be Chinese Garden. Chinese Garden. Yeah. When you're young, you, you go, festival, right? yes. you will take your lantern and walk the whole Chinese Garden. Yeah. We also have a uh, Bukit Gombak Park. Yeah. So they also upgrading the what Ling Limbang Limbang Park. Yeah. Correct. Oh, I don't know. Limbang Park. Limbang Park. Uh -huh. Yeah. And also, we also have the Rifle Range Nature Park. Yes. So, a lot of parks around us. Yes. So, um, I think that uh, greenery steam uh, is very popular. Yeah. Uh, and and with all this greenery surrounding the mist, it can only get more misty. Yes, right. <laughs> because last time, our uh, project all CBU, CBU, CBU. Correct. Now, all greenery, greenery. Correct. Yes. Okay. So, if you all have not been to the Bukit Timah Railway Station, it's actually quite interesting. They actually mm. make it like an exhibition area. Yeah. The museum. Uh. Yeah, it's like a museum. And then you see what is before and what is after. It's actually quite interesting. Yeah. And now a lot of people like to take pictures. So they actually go to the Bukit Dima Nature Park. Huh? Wow. Selfie. Selfie, eh? wifi. Yeah, in the morning. And a lot of uh, the, the famous what, Trust Bridge. Uh. Yes. A lot of people take wedding photo there. Uh. <laughs> yes. Fair or not? <laughs> uh, without uh very very hot uh, but they still tahan with their wedding gown and take wedding right. picture there. You probably can do a TikTok on the top five uh popular site for wedding photos, yes. and this will be one of them. One of and even the rifle range nature park, what well, it look a bit like hot, hot eh? Yes, correct. Oh, but Singapore government really really very fair. Yeah, uh, right? I think it's a good balance that's been kept uh. mm. 
So uh, rail corridor, which uh, connect you all the way, which is uh, very hard to come by, is a total of 24 kilometers from Guanxi, mm -hmm. northern, right? Guanxi is northern, way, right? Yeah. All the way to the southern. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bukit Timah. Yes. So a lot of people uh, during COVID cycle, 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 buy bicycle, buy bicycle. Yeah. So you can walk also. See, you see, <laughs> Lawrence also, right? You see? You know how old is he or not? Hey, don't, don't reveal, don't reveal. You see, he's very he young. Wow, <laughs> he's getting younger and younger. He looks younger and younger. So, I'm not going to him. I'm going to exercise. <laughs> okay, there's also more uh, small park. Like, uh, we have Petit Park in uh, Bukit Panjang, Zhenhua Park. Uh, Dairy Farm Nature Park, which is about 63 hectares. Quite big already. Eh? Dairy Farm. Dairy Farm Park. So, this will become house or not? Don't know. Dairy farm is a uh, art and coming also. Yeah. I yes. just know that our population keep increasing. Yes, correct. Yeah. It's good lah because which means that Singaporean got reproduced la. Right. And also we also have fallen foreign people become PR Singaporean. Well, I think my message is enjoy the greenery, appreciate them while you can. Yeah. It's really in a small country like Singapore, greeneries are far taken for granted. And it's very yeah. difficult to find nature park, yes. natural one. Yes. Not man made. Yes, because we don't have uh, four, yeah. four seasons. <laughs> so our trees are uh, very precious. <laughs> very precious. Yes, correct. Okay, so the benefit of living near an MRT station. So if you look at uh, the project launches, most of them are near MRT station, yes. even though it's walking distance. But last time don't have one. Eh? Last time have a bus stop, uh, it's already uh, very, very good. Because the, M the bus stop can bring you to the MRT station. Mm. Yeah, but with the government like building more MRT lines, so a lot of land now, uh, which is still empty, uh, they actually built beside the MRT. Mm. Correct? Uh? Yes. Yeah. So it actually the price normally will increase more if your home is near MRT station. Yeah, and, and touching on this, I remember uh, Lina, if you correct me if I'm wrong, I remember the NUS. I did a research on this before, and if I my memory didn't fail me, if it's within five hundred meters, the appreciation or the premium to the development can go up to like ten to fifteen percent. Yes. To me, that's huge. Mm. And we have two MRTs, one less than five hundred, one less than six hundred. Yes. So I don't need to say much, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but actually, a lot of people, of course, lah. Like, a lot of people like to stay like integrated, integrated, but. <laughs> to me, uh, integrated is very troublesome sometimes because you, you need to tap a lot of uh, a door before you can reach your facility. Yeah. Like. Because that is a security purpose. Like. Right. No wrong, but some people cannot accept the crowd. Right. When they stay out of the house, they cannot accept the crowd. So busy, so noisy. Okay, but uh, integrated development, you need to pay a price. Like. <laughs> uh, uh, a more yeah. premium price because they bring you convenient, ma. Right. So price tag. So of course, if you want to stay near MRT, you don't mind to take like one two bus stop, uh, one two MRT station away from your amenities, and you have a peaceful environment. You can actually introduce your buyer to the needs. Yeah. Yes. I think I think there are always different um groups of people that likes or love different kind of development. Um. Um, integrated has their own appeal and pe there are people who love the convenience and, and, you know, do away with the noise and the buzz. But there are some people who really appreciate quietness yes. after their busy day of work. Correct. And I think we, what Lina is saying is if you have this group of buyers and then this would be the perfect place for you. And mm -hmm. we are just a short distance away from MRT. Right. And then a lot of, because website seldom have new launches. Uh, yes, correct. And then uh, this year everything come out. And then, uh, if it's you got a, a lot of new launches. very attractive, affordable price that because now I find uh, all those are uh, late late twenties, early thirties uh, mm. are very rich uh, they got money to buy property. Right, right. Uh, so spread the words to your friends. Start young mm. because uh, new launches is very hard to come by. So your first day, you actually earn the most if they are first day buyer. Correct. Yep. Okay, now. Um, now we zoom the, in. The, the, the land, okay? As I said, it's actually a north-south north orientation, okay? North-south. And then we only have two towers. If you look at the two towers, 
none of them actually face other units. Okay, so they have 100% unblocked view. Even for the low floor, you have two view. This one, you have the, the water feature view. Okay, so the uh, bin center is actually located at the basement. So don't worry uh, when your buyer, you cannot see the, the, the bin center at the model uh, because it's hidden in the uh, basement already. And then if you look at, uh, if you have been to the show flat, the tennis court is actually sunken. Sunken. Sunken means that even the ground floor unit cannot see the tennis court. You cannot see the fence of the tennis court. Correct. So uh, the, the, the architect actually do a, a very nice uh, planning. You can't and see people play with ugly, ugly strokes. La. And you, yeah, you cannot, <laughs> you cannot, you cannot uh, see um, many new, so, so sad. <laughs> okay, so we, we use the, um, the, the Google map to show you the surrounding. Okay, so for the uh, building, the two towers, if you look at 802, the lower part, we are already about 72 meters away from our boundary wall. In our development. Yes, the boundary wall of our development. And for the upper part, it's uh, 25 meters from our boundary. And not to worry, in front of this, Lawrence, what is this? Ah, this is a football field. Yes, it's a football field. More greeneries. So, which means that after six, if the school uh, finish, which means that there is uh, no more activities. So, it's actually right. quiet. Right. Yeah. So, a lot of people ask me that. Saturday, Sunday, now the school can rent the football field. Right. But even if they ran the football field, I mean, you are not going to have a Manchester versus Arsenal match. You want right? the what like? Right. The what like? Uh, uh, flat light. Flat light, uh, yeah. Flat light. So, yes. so usually when you see in a football game, right, who is the most noisy is actually the fans. Uh. Mm -hmm. So if this kind of practice yes. field session, you yes. probably have one or two coach screaming their heads off. I don't think it will affect All your right. noise level. Yes. Uh. But uh, normally it's nine o'clock la. Normally, uh, we don't sleep late during the week right. uh, because morning we will have brunch la, yes. go out la, shopping la, go nature, park, walk, walk. Yeah. Yeah. The last session I think finished at five or six. Yes. But this is not to worry because this is uh really uh very far apart. Even if you buy local yes. units, you cannot see the school. Yes. So for the other block, we are fifty meters away from the boundary. So whatever we say, this is the Hazel Park condo, which is actually the high rise. So there's no units facing this side, okay. right? Mm. Which is the east. This side. is the east. Yes. Below will be the five story Hazel Park condo. So and this one you must that, listen. Uh, after listening to this, uh, this uh, Zoom session, you can really sell the miss already because <laughs> it's really, really very easy to to to, to present. And then for here, the shop house, they got this very famous Sisha store. Gahok. Gahok. Okay. They got this very famous. Okay. Not to worry because we are about uh, 45 meters from this, this 802 to tower to, to the, the back. back of the shop house. It's already 45 meters. So I give another 10 meters la, to reach the road. It's actually 55, 55 meters. meters away. They are very good sitting here because they actually help us to block the the filter of the noise yes but a lot of my i got teammates share with me la, their tenant their owner say it may they scream. Scream. actually all oh, because they're inside ah, cannot hear the road noise one correct yeah so this is actually not not an issue of a uh, upper pocket Dima road noise correct yes, correct okay so see this is the distance ah Oh, this one 90 meters. Eh. Wow. But this one will be premium uh, because it face your, right. your pool. Yeah, your sunken launch. Integrated pool yes, at the correct. sunken Later, we'll launch. Later, we will show you the facility. Very, very nice. Okay. So uh, let us do a flow, the access, and the, uh, the, the, the pedestrian access. Okay. So this is actually the road that is coming into the Mies. So this is... Upper Bukit Tima Road. So when you enter the Mies, okay, the Mies unveil. Unveil. Yes. Once you drive in, you are actually greeted by very, very tall trees. And before you enter your secret enchanted garden. Grand arrival hall. Yes. You have a grand arrival hall. So, okay. So there's actually a side gate here for pedestrians to come in. And this is the ingress and uh, the egress. 
Okay, so once you come down, you drop off your uh your friends or whoever family member, you drive down to the car park via this way. Right. Okay, if you at the model, you can actually see this um entrance is actually for the rubbish service vehicle. Yes, service vehicle to go to the basement to collect your uh trash lah. Huh? Okay, so for here the grand drop off, we actually have your residential service counter. Concierge. Concierge. Okay. So we have uh, many, many facilities. So they actually um, have the arrival place, the grand clubhouse, the tranquil area, the lush. We'll go through that one by one. Okay. This is actually a very private area. So this is actually where the Sitting area is pavilion. There will be a yeah, pavilion. There's a lot of pavilion, open sitting area, yes. which are after dinner you can uh, bring your kids and family down to to actually chit chat. Amidst the greeneries. Yeah. So we also have the body water area, which is a more active one. Mm. So the gym is actually facing the fifty meters lap pool, and we look at the pool is connected to the children's pool, family pool, the family pool. It's actually an infinity pool lah, to yeah. us. Oh, so this area, if you look at the model, if you, are, you have seen, you, you can see this area is super, super nice. Okay. So we also have a clubhouse. We have two clubhouse. We have the grand clubhouse and we also have another clubhouse here. Okay. So this is when we say like the mystery drive tree. So the entrance the tree alley, uh, you come in, it's really like, you know, all those bungalow one, the, the yeah. tree is very tall and yeah. yeah. So when you drop off, the, there's a lift here that brings you to from basement all the way to our second Central. level of a tree top, top walk. walk. Wow. It's just like uh, bring a mini hot park to the mist. Yeah. Huh? A, a, a replica. A replica. <laughs> tree top walk. Huh? Uh, bring to the mist. Very good at this architect. I really like the architecture. Okay. So for the Grand Cup House function room, we have outdoor deck all on level two. So below level one is actually the social launch. Uh. You can actually meet your friends here. Okay. So the lush club, we have the private dining, entertainment room, and the co-working space. Correct. So uh, you know you work from home, you can actually bring down to this club to actually better. Like, enjoy your facilities. Enjoy, enjoy. Like, you can yeah. see some water, you can see some greenery. Yeah. So we also have the gym and the changing room, which is facing the 50 meters lap pool. Okay. Children playground is here. Right. Cut away. Near the tree top wall. Yes. Okay. Wow. You see the two very nice modern looking building at Upper Bukit Timah Road in the picture. Okay. So uh if you look at the uh, Singapore building, mm. all those along Bukit Timah Road, the old ones are all the facade, eh? The white ones. color one, white color. Okay, like, this one is last time design, uh, different, right? right. Okay, because everything changed just like our BTO, they also change color, Correct. change smaller. <laughs> <laughs> last time very big one. Yes. Last time cheaper the land. Okay, so we have two buildings, and you look at the building, we actually have a three color tone. Very gradient color yes, tone. Color yeah. tone. This is to actually blend into the nature, which I, we actually have an ivory white for the bigger units. Right. And we also have a beige. Oak, oak beige color for the uh, I think it should be the one plus study, two, two plus study, two yeah. eighters in the center. And for the corner units, which is also the big units, we actually have the dark gray tone. Dark gray. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of people have visited the show flat. Mm. And they say that got fin. Not fin. It's called Brice Soleil. Yes. <laughs> we actually have a very nice theme of uh, the fin. Okay. Because as you as you know, uh, the site is already the... Uh, Mean death. Close to mean death. Yes. yes. So it's actually a wide angle like that. So we are not supposed to look left, look right. Right. Correct? Mm. That's why um we actually the architect actually I th I think, the feature. Yeah, I, I think you know you correct me if I'm wrong, huh? In Singapore, as long as you are facing uh the prime minister's house, the president's uh, house, or some high-level minister's house, or even MINDEF yes. army camp, 
you somehow or other is mandate by URA to have a fin or security screen, right? All right. Even so, like you stay in Orchard Road, right. near the Eastern, United, then you see yes, a lot of screen also. The screening. But because of the technology, right. last time they used fins for no reason. Yeah. Even just for blocking. Boulevard 88, I remember. Yes. Yeah. That okay. is a wall. Correct. <laughs> but I think this architect did a very good job because uh, as you know, that both sides are unblocked view. Right. And uh, we are not south orientation, but we still have uh, morning sun and uh, afternoon sun right. because the earth moved. Uh, right. right. So this brisole, which is an Italian wood, okay, brisole, is actually a solar shading system. Mm. This is for you to actually reduce uh, the heat. heat. Gain. Yes. This is for reflecting the sunlight. Yes. Mm. So what you're saying is, the developer could have stopped at giving you just an ugly looking uh, screen and stop there. Right. But in, in, in this case, CDL, the top developer in Singapore, decided to make use of that mandatory screen yes. and convert it to use material and technology to deflay sunlight and make the room and the units uh, cooler and yes. more comfortable for your yep. stay. And uh, if you look at the model, all our units come with full glass high panel ah. and it's already tinted. Right. Yes. So you actually have a uh, double protection. If uh, I put a solid wall there, uh, but, but it's very, very hot. But Lina, is there an option for people who uh, really, really cannot accept the screen one? Actually, um, to me, uh, uh, last time I used to sell sky wood, uh, mid wood. Uh, I think people can accept. Can accept. Because we don't look left or right. When we look straight, right? It doesn't block your view at all. No, yes. no, I'm saying more for people who say I I don't need uh I don't need view, but I just don't like this this thing in my balcony. But cannot see one. Yeah. But we still have some that don't have that. Yeah, screen. we have a lower <laughs> floor units, you see, uh, some fins are from the eighth floor, some, some fins are from the twelfth floor. So we have options. Yeah, but you must educate the buyers lah sometimes. Correct. Yeah, but this is not a uh, because you no need to debate with them for 30 Correct. minutes because this building cannot change. This here to stay. Yes, this one cannot change one. Okay, for that on top, they also have a uh, inspired feature. Uh, this is articulate the tower crown. So which means that uh, from far, right, when you look up and then when the uh, crown light up. Especially at night. Yes, you look like a crown. <laughs> I, remember, I remember oh. one of the development also have this. Go in color. Yes, yeah. <laughs> the other side have. So, uh, every tower got two crown. Ah. So total we have four crown. Yes. Okay. So this one, Brice Soleil and the crown feature. Actually, very modern. Uh. Oh, they don't put one color. Also, one color very boring. To me, also very luxurious because only the king wears the crown. <laughs> okay. Wow. So you can, you can actually send a very, very nice uh, artist impression for, to your buyer. To actually, they will look at it. Wow, so nice. Actually, for this area, uh, which is uh, the, the near the arrival area, it's really, really very, very, very beautiful. Grand. Yes, very. And then, like that, uh, only the front part. Eh. Haven't seen Correct. the back part. Yeah. Uh, then you see. Oh, this is the gym overlooking. Yeah, the this picture, yeah. Because yes. it represents the, the. Oh, no, the not the gym. Here. This is the function room. Function. Sorry. So, it represents the picture. Eh, the mist. The mist, yeah. Yeah, can see, cannot see. Eh. Very nice, even like. even this side, the arrival hall, yeah. when you look through, right, you, you also have the feeling of row in row, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, can see, and cannot it, see. It's made of aluminium, uh, so it, it, it won't look so hard. Yes. It's actually very soft. It's like swaying with the yeah, nature, with the environment. Yes. Wow, this one I like. This one I like go Bali like that. <laughs> <laughs> this one like, this one is, is, is the night view. La, the ho. best. The best, the best area. Yeah, then you have your function. You have your function in the in the in the clubhouse, right? Uh your friends can sit here. Yeah. yeah. Then wow, so nice. I, I, picture also yeah, nice. I, I think you can also see that the integrated pool is somewhere around there where the children uh family area yeah, and the children yeah. pool is there. Yeah. So while you are having function or hosting a, a celebration, your guests will always mingle around, right? Then there are kids running around. So some of the kids can actually go to the pool and you you have visibility of that. Yeah, you are not far away. Yeah. You are not far this away. The landscape also got chance. So I, I feel everything is very well thought of. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Residential service. Wow, this one, CDL one, I like it. Hmm. 
they got a lot a lot extra one. Okay, uh, because they bring they are very they are very famous in the district 9, 10, 9, 10, 11, 10, 11, even yes. first they bring it to district 15. Then yeah. they bring it to OCR. Yeah. <laughs> then after that, now all the projects they, they they actually come up with all have residential service. Yes. But I, I believe in this area, uh this is the only development that has got concept service. Yes, at this, yeah, uh, this moment, yes, yeah. only the MIS actually uh, give us very good uh, concept services and we actually call them our residential host team. Correct. And yes. it's it's very impressive the kind of things that they are they are Correct. doing for you. I, I especially like their their mission statement. Yes. You are our purpose. Correct. It's you, not you, us. the, the residents. Yeah. Yes. So normally they were see? Wow. Beside the arrival welcome assistant, hello sir, good evening yeah. ma'am. You know the wet as wet weather assistant means that uh you can actually have uh, umbrella yeah, services. Yeah, you get stuck, they'll go yes. with you with the umbrella. Yeah, transport arrangement. So the estate living normally will be facilities reservation, delivery, okay. even their loan or wheelchair. Like. Okay, for service request, right? Of course you you use then you pay like right. you don't use the wow, they got laundering and housekeeping eh. They they cater a lot more more comprehensive range of menu i would say yeah yeah you party right always need barbecue people <laughs> ah you you get personal a, barbecue <laughs> chef chef and then even for your uh poor party you actually have the uh pet care grooming service yes yeah so handyman also have leh. like tenant call you ah hey the the sink ah leakage eh. ah, send you call service care. request <laughs> yeah, yes very good we, we love the we love the residential service from cdl Okay, even party, uh, you can actually organize a party via your contract services. Right. Children birthday la, uh, yeah, they can because now children very good life. Like, Correct. Their party uh, are all very grand. Yes. They got a lot of friends. Yeah, they got a lot of tea <laughs> one there. Eh. Well, the birthday get three tier one. Yes. <laughs> Last time we uh birthday party yeah. McDonald's. 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 One, one small pandan cake. <laughs> okay, interior design and provision. So uh for although we are actually in the west the the OCR area, OCR area but developer never shortchange any of the uh buyer la. yes correct okay we have two teams uh normally uh one and two bedroom it's actually called hazel scheme hey last time one and two bedroom all what color Dark, gray, dark, yeah. gray color. Gray color. Yeah, a lot of people complain. Wow, well, very hard to Metallic, match. Metallic. Yeah. Very hard to match furniture. Already so small, you still put gray. Are you? Okay, now because uh now is 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 very um na nature color. So they come out with the hazel scheme, which is the light wood color. It's called zen. The feeling yeah, of calmness. Yeah, all right, calmness. Okay, you see the cabinet, uh, they also got two very pattern one. Uh, fluted glass. Fluted no. glass. Yeah, yeah, fluted glass. Okay, the cabinets, the lightings inside is not provided. Uh. Below, you see, it's the backsplash. Wow, so nice. Like. Right. Last time, one grey one gray <laughs> glass patch only. Now got design. Okay, no. I think this color is very easy to match your furniture. You want right. orange, green, uh, grey, uh, blue, uh, green, uh, also can. So far, huh? And I like about their fridge. It's yes. Integrated fridge. So they give you a space you can fit any fridge that's that size. Yes, features. correct. So uh master wardrobe, if you uh you can go to the show flat to have yeah. a look. We we are flashing this here so that you, you appreciate what comes with the development. Yes. I think the key the key thing is to go down to the show flat and take a look for yourself right. if you have not done so a few one um, few then you have the energy right. anyway we are having a session coming out on wednesday right yes wednesday 10 a.m we have another show flat viewing uh, additional session, session. so yes. if you have missed it please don't miss the miss do come down and take a look later yeah. we'll send out in the hyper chat okay? so yeah so the bathroom the master bath, mm. common bath and master bath different color and tone uh three four and five bedroom we call it the umber scheme umber scheme yeah this is more for a uh, family and uh the mature the more matured. balanced more warm and yes matured. correct yes Wow, very wow. nice there you see. Oh, the glass is another name, another name for the glass for the kitchen cabinet. Reflective glass. Yes, reflective glass. This one, this one. This is given uh, in the four yeah. bedroom dry kitchen. I believe the five bedroom also have it. Okay, yeah. the floor plan, um, we are still waiting because uh, the people who like to give us the full floor plan. 
Correct. Yes, instead of one by one lah, ho. Okay, master wardrobe, very very nice. Toilet. So walking kind of. Yeah, I like that every toilet, even for the big or small one, you will see that at mm. the sink area, you have a you have a proper like some sort of like a feature uh feature wall. area mm. uh, where you can contrast the texture, the layer of your yeah, your it's room. Like the whole toilet same. So color. it's like not boring yes. one one tile color Correct. kind. So they actually differentiate the tiles color and the cabinet color. Mm. So got dark and light, so it actually contrasts. Okay. So this wow, is actually good the good brands for your uh, sanitary wear. Your you white goods. White goods, mm. your Bosch, your Smack. Okay, CDL go green. Woo. So that's why we need the 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 Brie Soleil right. because of the deflecting of the, the sunlight and the yes. heat. Yeah, so uh, everything is uh, five thick. All the appliances that they give is five thick. And uh, other green features, which uh, we actually have bicycle lots. Yes. And smart condo management oh, oh. system, less paper lah. Correct, correct. They also have this only one that I've heard so far in in new development is that not only is all their shoot uh, pneumatic, they also have a double refuse system where Separate. it's separated between recyclable and mm. non recyclable. So I think. That's that's really green if um yeah, some um, people very shallow and green, really right? want to start doing the, the recycle thing. Uh, right. Yeah, because to help the environment. Right. Even our ERA bottle uh, also so green. Yeah, we go <laughs> green first. Okay, so this is actually the summary of uh the whole development. So uh I think that this is a very, very uh well taught design. Yes. Even for the, the layout, the color team. The okay. facilities, everything, even the finishing. Right. Yeah. I th I think I think both um Lina and myself, if we add together, we probably have done hundreds of uh, new launches. I think this one we agree that it really impresses us when we first went okay. to the show flat. Yeah. And it's very simple, it's luxurious, the layout is clean and simple, and it yeah. really very well thought through to cater to the needs All of right. the resident. We, we although we yeah. don't say in the West, but when we hear CDL, uh, Okay, okay, we do. Brighten up. Because we are very confident <laughs> of their product and their layout and their right. finishing. Okay? Yeah. But, okay. But, you know, I, we, we talk so much about the development mm. and we, I mean, it's great and surrounded by nature. All the master plans that's upcoming also in that vicinity. But, you know, agents being agent, right? Mm. They're always going to be questions they say lah, from client or from themselves. Lah. But, is it the right time to enter the I mean, people say wait for price to drop. Yeah. To wait drop, for price right? to drop, right? Yeah. In the real estate, for about 15 <laughs> years, the price haven't dropped at all. Right. Uh, so, so we... But we when all... it's the right time. Right. When your pocket is, pocket is ready and you like the product and it really uh, make your heart move, that is the right okay. time. So, so here, I'm going to spend the next maybe 15 minutes yes. and bear with me um, just to run through my own train of thoughts. Um, you don't have to agree with me, but if you find it useful, please use it and present mm. to your customer as well. All right. So I think the market, a lot of people are talking about timing the market. And as good consultant in real estate, we always tell them, don't time the market, but stay vested in the property market. Right. But if really, there are some really um, stubborn clients out there who say, no, 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 I want to find the right opportunity. I have something for you. You see, we have gone through 14 rounds of cooling measures. Am I right? You remember the last one is which date? Uh? Wow, to me, uh, cooling measure, uh, don't bother me. Don't bother me. <laughs> yeah, really don't bother me. Okay, but yeah. let me tell you, let me share you. So the last recent one was uh, April, mm. right? And one before April was September. Mm. Of course, the April one is all targeting our uh, foreigners, la, like increasing ABS. the ABSD. But it's a good thing. Why? Because I sort of observe, right? Every time in the last um, maybe eight years, all the cooling measures when because we have the the one that affected us most was the change in the AV, uh, the TDSR, which was in two thousand and thirteen, and then it took a long time for the market to really settle in and start to buy again. But this time round, after the episode, somewhere in uh twenty seventeen, where they have the uh SSD again, a, a um ACD, all this. 
uh, TDS R2 again, the market sort of bounced back very fast. So you realize that if I may highlight to you, every cooling measures thereafter, it sort of create a knee-jerk effect, which it will stop, it will slow down for a while, then gradually it will rebound very fast. And then the government has to come in and cool the market again, slow down for a while, then it rebounds again very fast, right? Especially the last two, the one in uh, September 2022, uh, December 2021, it was uh, the TDSR3. And then after that, it goes up to September 2022, which is the recent, uh, the TDSR4, which is the one that um, has raised the interest ceiling. And then the recent one, April, will be the AVSD5 which is from 30% to 60% for foreigners. So you realize the last two, every time it comes in, it creates a new low, it bounces back fast, it creates a new low. So I was thinking, if you ever have clients that is waiting, then this is none other than a good window opportunity for them to go in now because the foreigners are still thinking about whether I should go in or not, right? Because the window opportunity will be very, 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 very small. Why? You look at this. I just cut out from the newspaper. New private sales home hit seven months high in April despite AVSD high, which is the recent cooling measure. If I abstract the reading from here, you can see that all our recent launches down here. Um, yeah, give me a minute. <laughs> Blossom by the park average PSF was, is already 2427, about 75% sold. Uh, Tambusu Grand 2463, Continuum 2732, two. Kuman 3215, my goodness. And London Green, uh, Leiden Green 2838, and Atelier was 2658. But Atelier, there's, there's a discount that's hanging over it. Yes. Right? Then we also have what? Recent news, prices at condo launches hit new high in 2023. New high, again, talking about uh, Continuum, selling at 2732, also talking about uh, how in the past, District 9, 10, and 11, uh, for example, do residents is selling only about 2,000 PSF in 2013. And today, we have Tempusu Grand in D15 RCR. We are already clocking 2465 average PSF. So Lena, crazy, right? Yes, this is like a, you know, a 10-year cycle. <laughs> you know, 10-year cycle, which, okay lah, because last time, the 315 are uh, 800 PSF can buy. Okay? Right. Now, if you look at, look at our container, it's 2732 PSF. Right. So, so even for reserve recently, uh, I mean, just past is 246 something, right? Uh, two, four, so, something. so what I'm alerting to is that I think, we have passed, like Lena mentioned, 10 year cycle. Now we are into the new norm. I'm not sure any one of them out there still remember in May 2018, um, DBS and Morgan Stanley actually came out with a pre projection that Singapore average PSF price will reach 2007 PSF in 2030. I would like to tell you that we are actually on track to surpass that prediction. So today, what's the new norm? I just draw out in CCR, we are hitting about 2970 PSF now. In RCR, we are hitting two, in 2023, 2523 PSF. In OCR, it's 2005. 2005. 2005. Sorry, PSF. not 2005. 2005. So, what about District 23 that we are talking about since Miss is sitting right inside the uh, are we at the beginning it? of District 23? Uh, we are at the fringe of... Uh, so, 21. 21. Yes. So, very good question, Lina. Actually, we are along the same stretch of Upper Bukit Timah Road as uh, the reserve. Mm. So, we are actually in the vicinity at the fringe of RCR where we enjoy yes. all the locality amenities. Okay. But yet, our pricing will be OCR. Okay. Yeah, actually in District 23, <laughs> but we are enjoying the same amenities but a lower, lower, lower price tag from District 21. Yes. Wow, this one like media. Like. <laughs> oh. Right. So you see District 23 actually outperformed the market in OCR. We actually grew in the last 10 years 81% for new launches. So our hmm. average price tag now in new launches is actually 2118. Yes. Okay. So the, the whole OCR is 2005. 
but we are actually hitting 2118. Okay, so what does it mean for us? You mean I also plucked out the last few new launches in this area where respectively POP this year, last year, and four years ago, and some are still under BUC. You can see that the average price has gone up significantly as well. So I leave it up to you to look at maybe the closest botany, um, which is priced now average at 2071, whether our miss being in a better location, more luxury with the only concert service in the locality or connected in between two MRT, will it be lower or higher? higher. Yeah, it's a mystery. <laughs> okay, I also want to see how resale prices, because buyer will always com compare about resale prices, how resale prices are doing in Bukit Panjang. So as you can see here, Lina, the mm. within three kilometers, okay, two and a half la, to two kilometers, all this old and new development actually are hitting in the average price of like one four to one six mm. PSF. And then you know now the gap between our resale and our new launch is actually widening, right? right. Yeah. So actually the resale, although um, it's, only, it's a far gap from the new ones, but the resale quantum will always stay as such. Yes. Okay. Then I also took a look at new launch prices along the whole uh, MRT, like you mentioned just now, right? From Cashew MRT all the way down to Hillview. Botany is at 2071. We go down to Beauty World, Link is 247, uh, 2741. Reserve and help put because I didn't know yesterday yet. So today is 2460. If you want yes. to put it in yourself, 2460. Yeah, but Park. Yeah, Park. Average okay. subsidy is 2000, 2002. Um, when it goes down to 6th Avenue, uh, it's 27 already. Okay. Yeah, two six. <laughs> and once you hit Stevens, it's 3006. Newton, 2005, 3001. So you can see for yourself, um, Cashew being in the West and being in the fringe of uh, Asia. It's going to be a very, very, very attractive, uh, affordable quantum for this uh, massive Hello. new launches in this year. Many people ask us, eh, what is the land price and land price for the lease? Okay, like we mentioned from the start of this session, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's not so clear cut. It's not a government land sales. Neither is it an on block for residential yes. straight away, right? Correct. So it's actually a private treaty. Maybe so what, what do you think? Our, what do you think? ultimate doesn't know how 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 a land sales work. Uh. Okay, so, so maybe you highlight. Yes, I also want to learn from a developer when they buy the 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 land, right? It's just like a resale. Mm. They need to top up the lease till they are ninety nine years, all right? And they also need to do the change of change of use yes. because it's a uh, commercial, right? Or yeah, it's a it's actually a uh, master plan is a residential site, okay. but all the title deed is actually a commercial land. Right. So the developers still need to pay for the change of use and the top of the lease until 99 years, then can sell to consumer. Man. Right. Yeah. Okay. So this is, this is about there lah, because a lot of people ask, hey, they sell so cheap, you know, on the news, it's only how much they buy, but they haven't top up the lease. They haven't calculate the change of use. Right. Hmm. Right, so the price is not so clear cut, but we are giving all you all this information so CMA, that you can CMA. do a very uh, close, educated or calculated guess. Mm. All right. Um, next thing I often hear agents say is that um, buyer want to see. Just now you say new resale is only thousand six thousand five. Then why don't I buy resale? Why must I buy new launch? Right. My own story to my my customer or my buyer, right, is always this. So I took a uh, tree house, one of the development that's around this Bukit Panjang planning area as well. From the time it launched in 2009, 2010, all the way to today. Okay, you can see that the first part here is actually the four years building cycle. Where yeah, four years they gain 32%. Yeah. Uh. So in within four, four years, right, this is like the only time where Maybe the first three years are uh, only the developer is selling. Uh. Mm. The developer got all yes. the stocks, right? After that, when the project TOP, we actually have a resale. Some, yeah, some, some sale here, sub -sale. La, right? After uh, three, uh, after the uh, three years SSD. Yeah. 
Yes. But nonetheless, when you lo- buy a launch, it's usually at this point, right? Yep. And then gradually, as they sell more, they will increase price. About 1,000 PSF. Already. This, I call it a new launch capital boost. Do you know why it always go up now? Besides the developer, the only one selling. So I, I, I observed this story uh, because I'm in corporate for a long time as well. Yep. So within this period, right, mm-hmm. is the time when the, the developer launched at a very low margin, right? Let's say, for example, uh, 10 to 15% at launch. As they sell more, right, mm-hmm. they actually have a very great motivation to push up the margin, right? At the end, when they reach TOP, right, Internally, they need to pay their survey team, their pricing team, their, their marketing team, and what have you, right? They actually have an internal motivation to reach a targeted margin at the end of TOP. I see. So my guess, uh, based on all the new launch, usually easily, like in this case, 32% gain, right? If they launch at about 15%, they easily need to have 60 or 50% margin to break even. Mm, correct. But, because the developer will not stop. I Atlanta. didn't know lah, because you know construction costs go up. Yes, yes. Then material go up. So, um, to be honest, the developer doesn't earn much Correct. Yeah. So, so, but what is assured? Why am I telling you this? Is that what is assured for uh consumers who buy this? Is that internally in the beginning when you buy a new launch, the developer is also helping you to get your capital gain. Yes. That's why within four years you can gain thirty two. Yeah, that's why a lot of people like to buy on the first day of right. the day. First so, day of booking day. Correct. So after this is our well-known resale already, right? Anyone who sell yeah. to you after this, so you are at right. best second. Okay, if you if you if you actually buy at this area, okay la, very good. Yes, correct. Right, but mm. we don't know. We, we we as you know that resale market now is at the peak. Yes. A lot of sellers are asking for price that valuation <laughs> cannot match. Yeah, I mean. Of course, there is genuine buy, uh, seller out there, but right. it's very, very difficult to find. Right. Yes. But even even if you, you, you enter at this point, you will not, um, I mean, it's, it's good, mm. then you will still enjoy market capital appreciation. Yes. Correct. But you can see from here, it takes yeah. 10 years to hit 31% Correct. versus 4 years to hit Correct. 32, right? If you have hold your unit from this point onwards all the way what, until today, 60 over percent. Eh? Okay. And why is also good in this sense, right? Okay, sorry. In, in this sense is another perspective of looking at it. If you earn 32% here and you continue holding your, your property and it grows at an annualized rate, annual, annual rate of 30, rate. 3% yes. now because 10 years, 31%, right? Yes. So 3%, you still earn. But mm. what is uh, a bit worrying is that if you look at the last 10 years price growth and also land price growth, mm. we are actually growing at the annual rate of 4.5 to 4.7. Yes. So if your property don't earn more than 4.5%, uh, next time when you exit, uh, you are likely negative to be priced sale. out. Yeah, you're likely to be you priced out. So yeah. what does this do for you? If this is 32% as this is stated, it actually divide by 4, it gives you an 8 year buffer to start, if you don't sell, like, continue holding, right, right? Right. you're actually enjoying eight years buffer. So even when you sell out here, you can still afford new launches mm, or upgrading. Because a lot of buyer actually, for home stay is very, for home stay is very straightforward. Right. They will actually uh, move in and stay, especially a three bedroom, mm. four bedroom. But for all those investors, like they buy like one and two bedroom, they actually look at the market when the project is about to TOP, whether yeah, they want yeah, to like. sub <laughs> they want to move in, or they, or they want to get again. Yeah, there's a lot of choices. La. Correct. Yeah. So you take a look at those who stay on. Uh, you see, it kept from the launch date until today, January 2023. It's quite a whooping uh, success. Yes. Uh, because they always say the million. bigger you buy, the more you profit. Yes. Okay. Rental. Lina also touched on a very good point. There are many investors out there. Besides capital gain or capital boost, some of them just purely want to look at rental and rentability, right? So let's take a quick look at Bukit Panjang area. When I do a uh, uh, average out of all the old launches until today, the newer launches are here. We are actually moving towards about $6 PSF, which is 
very very good in OCR. Six dollar ah, wow. yeah. The one plus study six dollar is three thousand one. Don't worry. Per month eh. So very the good, eh. so the one plus one beta size a eh, one plus study. I look at all the recent transaction of the newer ones because I will be new, right? Yes, yes. So one beta usually you can fetch about two nine to three thousand seven. Yeah, two uh, two nine three eight to four nine and three beta uh five thousand to six thousand. Right. Yeah. Recently I did one in Dane three three beta. It's actually six thousand seven. Ah. And it's only one thousand square feet. Wow. Very high. I mean, it's few years. Uh, yeah, I, but I mean it will soften, soften a bit. Okay lah, because a lot of uh, projects go on TLPM, right. uh, they will drop lah, but it will not drop. You not drop it the previous drop level, to, yeah. Until the three years ago where, where COVID lah, right. like 2001 now 4,000. Maybe you can take average of this lah. <laughs> back to 2001. Yeah, I cannot never, drop to new low yes, lah. never drop to new low. Yeah, so we, we spoke about um entering the market. Entering the market, we spoke about the whole um development itself we also spoke about how all the master plan is surrounding this development so there is definitely a lot of exit plan for your buyer who wants to buy a unit here to start with if you look at the whole area within uh, one kilometer here you can see that there are a lot of residential site and also commercial site don't know immediately G, no immediate gls there's a uh, zone for uh, zone for bid or tender we can see that the shop house in front here are also all residential residential site, site. so if must ura is to rejuvenate this area i think something can be done around this area as well and upcoming immediately on this site which is a mixed commer uh, commercial site they are actually uh able to do a mixed residential here as well so there are within one kilometers quite potential uh new launches that might be in the pipeline right you look at a bigger spectrum further down from our development here dairy farm, dairy farm road you have actually got many plots of land on the mindev side and also on the dairy farm side so all these plots of land in future will also bring about the increase of our appreciation of our price here so this is or um or quite known land now. And then you take a look quick look at the recent land cost we can see that at the first glance not well, except for botany and reserve nothing is below 1000 right yeah. and we can easily imagine okay la. a lot of people ask what's the mm. land price okay la. plus that we, we can average up to 1001 plus my yeah price. the land price of the meat thousand one the plus purchase minus, price <laughs> uh, the, the the recent land cost uh, like yeah. uh, plus everything maybe PSF, PSF, PPR, PPR, uh, is about thousand one thousand one thousand two plus minus la. Oh? okay mm. so to sum up everything as i exit plan you not only have future transformation around development things like north south corridor beauty world area jurong lakes side district mm. you also have what we mentioned about the new launch capital boost the rental you around here and of course rentability from Jurong Lakeside mm. from one north even right spill over your future land plots and the possible rejuvenation around the area the, from residential to mixed development last but not least this is the newest development in the area uh and I count uh, 17 years from the linear which is just at our doorstep launches in 2006 so I think we have said enough right so many good things about this development so miss when are we targeting our preview it will be two weeks later three weeks la. three weeks well, later <laughs> yeah 24th june 2023 it will be the first maybe the first project in the west yeah as, as you all know in july august there's crazy number of projects launching so you probably have a lot of overlapping but don't miss the miss because yeah. it's one of the most affordable one with great amenities, great potential. Uh, if you have clients that's looking at quantum, that's affordable, you definitely must put this as one of your leads.